It's time for more Fishwax Great Sports Moments. Great? Or, or something that happened that involved sports in us. Fishwax Show! Alright, this is certainly not by popular demand, but I was hounded needlessly online by a few people. I apparently forgot some stories. Your baseball career apparently is epic. I have one memorable moment, which I talked about, and then you topped me by breaking some dude's leg. So <sighs> go go, go off with your baseball. I would say career, but uh, my baseball star shone very brightly till I was 12, and then it <laughs> fizzled and burned. <laughs> we'll talk about that later on. But, yeah, I saw it on Facebook, and my brother and uh, his friend, like, what about this thing? What about this thing? Oh, okay. So the fans demanded we talk more. We're here to entertain and we're here to please. So I've got some baseball. You've got, you're done with baseball. I so. have the one baseball moment. I did hit the baseball into the river at Bluff City, which is kind of a family tradition. That is, oh, your family tradition. My uncle did it too when he played there. And that's it. That's all my baseball. That's good. That's good stuff. So proceed, uh, sir. So. Uh, they, they wanted me to make sure that uh, my brother was my personal catcher growing up. <laughs> uh, at any point in time, we'd go out in the yard and get it. <laughs> so he was on the same team as you? Yes. He, uh, Nobody else wanted to catch your fastball? No, clearly not. Well this, well, this was like when we were practicing, right? I had, I had my, my friend was our, our regular catcher. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, if we were just going out in the yard, which was much more dangerous, because mm -hmm. you don't have, you have equipment or nothing, yeah. you know? Out there, it was also dangerous for uh, every car and window in the neighborhood, but that was back in the day. <laughs> he made sure I had to remind everyone of his sacrifice, right? <laughs> Getting out there, I for a little league team, I we had a pitching coach uh -huh. because I was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a side story last time, I didn't start playing until I was 10. I didn't play any little league, I played T ball, and I definitely hit the T more than the ball. Hmm. Yeah, it would go further a lot of times. So I decided I wanted to play again when I was 10, and I had to be developed. Come on back. Yes. Like Willis Reed or something. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what they were saying. <laughs> but yeah, I had my own pitching coach that we worked tirelessly at these things. Tirelessly. And tirelessly. Man. Tirelessly. It was... How did all that turn out? Terrible. <laughs> uh, I was really good. Like I said, I had like no hitter. I had a no hitter. What? Um, but... I think I walked like 10 people or something like that. That doesn't show up. Who cares? No. No hitter. No, it was matters. a no hitter. I got the game ball. Yeah. It didn't matter. But they scored like two or three runs because I walked so many people. <laughs> Very unique no hitter. It was. We won the game. That's all that. Well, no hitter is more important. But then you also yeah. won the game. Yes. Uh, I needed, I don't know the details. Uh, so I'll have to remember. I think I was hitting and... The ball like took a weird hop and hit some poor kid in the nose and broke his nose. Man. And so my friend reminded me that he ran into this fella <laughs> these couple years later, and I think his name was Lee or something. And he asked if I still if he still talked to James. Do you remember that time he, he broke my? <laughs> yeah, basically, he was like, "Do you remember the time he broke my nose?" I was like, "Did I hit you?" <laughs> I mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you made contact with the guy you broke his nose. I think if you're the leg broke guy, the guy James broke his leg, contact us. Contact us. I am He's sorry. deeply sorry. He won't do it again. I need to need to air that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a few more. I want to hear. So I've heard legends of, this, of the golf, uh, Nathan, but I don't think I know the whole story. Okay, so I, I, my baseball stuff's over. There's, there's a few memorable golf things, but this one, this one kind of stands out. Um, this was before I got to high school. I was middle school golfer. And there was actually, a golf team in middle school? No, I just played okay. on my own. Okay, okay. I, 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 anyway, I played golf. Mm. And I, as I've said before, I grew up on a farm. We had the house here, and there was a road, and we owned land across the road. Mm -hmm. So my parents would let me drive golf balls across the road. Of What's course. wrong with that? Nothing. But Nothing it was, a, you know, it's a country road. Mm -hmm. You could see very good on this side. There's a big S, S curve coming up, so I could see the cars. This side, not so much. Towards Chad's house, not so much. No, that was Chad's house. Was the good okay. Way. Up towards Brittany Weaver's house was the yes. not so good way. They would sneak up on you there. Mm -hmm. And I'm out there, you know, shanking, smacking balls, uh, trying not to hit the cows across the road. Of course. And uh, 
A car sneaks up on me. I hit a bad one, which was rare. It bounces down through her front yard, and and it was like it was like a magnet. I mean, I see the car, and I'm like, no, it's gonna happen. Smack right in the door. And so what do I do? Run. Yeah, I immediately just <laughs> drop drop the club and run inside. My dad's inside. I said, "Who the? Who the car? Who the go? Who the?" I'm freaking out. He's like, "It's cool. We have insurance." And then we <laughs> walk outside. So the car's pulling up the driveway, and I'm just mm. like about to freak out. Sweating bullets. Yeah. The car pulls up. It's some some little black sports car, and a lady comes out, and she's like, she was really cool. I thought she was gonna just scream and you know. It was going to be the end of my life, but she said, It's okay. My boyfriend plays golf. I don't think there's any damage. <sighs> Just blame him. Yes. <laughs> Crisis averted. Thank you, boyfriend who plays golf, too. And plastic doors that bounce back. So there was no damage? No damage. No, oh, gosh. It didn't cost me a thing. You just scared the pee out of me. <laughs> so, there you go. That's a great story. And now we'll go back to baseball. Back to baseball. So, I was reminded as well... Um, I had a nickname, Bone Crusher, Bone, Bone Breaker. I, it was none of those, <laughs> none of those wrestling pseudo names. No, I knew of one nickname that um, my friend Daniel, his dad, helped out for All Stars. You were talking about your All Stars, and um, when we got to be All Star season, his dad would help out. He named me, nicknamed me Old Beanball. Apparently, I used to hit a lot of fools. Wow. <laughs> I don't recall that. So no hitter, but you got hits as a pitcher. Yes. Hitting people. Yes, I believe that's probably how they scored a few runs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, apparently, I was also called the Beast. The Beast. Which clearly my gentle nature deserves such a nickname. Yeah. And yeah, I mean breaking bones and hitting people with baseballs. That's, that's what very I did. Gentle. That is exactly what I did. <laughs> so there is a legendary tale, and you'd have to be there to know. This, uh, but apparently my friend Derek was in left field at the time we were playing against them. Uh, Hills had a baseball team, if you remember their department store. They sponsored. The, <laughs> we were uh, Tri City Auto Parts. Mm. Yeah, or you know, throwing out the big bucks for those little league sponsorships. And um, well, they wanted I, to get their money in with the Beast. They did. They didn't know at the time. <laughs> they bought a sponsorship for the Beast. So. It was probably a ball right there on my shin. It was really low when I was hitting. And I, I golfed it, man. I, I went down and got it. The thing goes, and he was in left field. He's like, he just turns around and watches it. <laughs> and so it clears. Little leagues are 200 feet. It cleared that. It cleared the 50 or so feet between the fields. It goes on to the senior league field behind it. And they claimed that it rolled to the infield. Wow. So I don't know how far that would be, but it's a pretty good shot. Legendary. <laughs> it was. They talked about it for a while. Obviously, we're talking about it now. The legend lives on. But I didn't realize he was in left field and got to watch it. You know, this just came to me. You got Mike Trout. You were the original big fish of baseball. That's where he stole it from. Trout's secondary. Yeah. He he heard about these stories. Yeah. He's like, that sounds like a pretty he good. He probably patterned his career after you. I'm sure he did. You're welcome, Mike Trout. Yeah. I, I think I deserve a little cash. <laughs> just buy a fish rack shirt Mike Trout no 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 no. we need the actual money that'd be best <laughs> we're in lockdown man need some cash <laughs> so I think that's all my little league stories we may talk about some senior league and uh, well your baseball career school. is so epic yeah we're just gonna keep going with baseball I don't for you. Know. epic is not the right word for it <laughs> when you peak at 12 years old that's not epic some people never peak uh, that's true we'll talk about more stories at some point in time I guess do you have anything else to do the uh, we'll come up with something. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Tell us your great sports stories. Why not? Did Bra did James break one of your bones? More than likely. <laughs> Next time, Fishback Show.